equal one. We can say the electrostatic forces that bind oppositely charged ions together. What do you mean by oppositely charged ion? All the metals having tendency to lose electron and form the cation, and all the metal non-metal having tendency to gain electron and form anion. So, cation having positive charge, anion having negative charge. They are opposite in nature. Due to opposite nature, they attract to each other, and the type of bond form which are known as ionic bond. So we can say atoms transfer valence electrons from metal to non-metal or cation to anion. Here we have example sodium as a metal and chlorine as a non-metal. One electron present in the valence shell of sodium and seven electron present. in the valence shell of chlorine sodium loses one electron and form sodium cation and chlorine gain that electron and form chloride anion and sodium chloride will be formed now look here sodium metal loses one electron which is transferred towards the chlorine ion chlorine atom and chlorine atom converted into chloride ion this sodium become the positive that is cation and this chlorine become the negative that is anion due to the opposite attraction positive and negative they attract to each other and form sodium chloride here is a structure of a crystal of sodium you observe that each positive sodium ion surrounded with chloride ion and each chloride ion surrounded with sodium ion and three dimensional structure will be formed no what is the covalent bonding a covalent bond is defined as a force of attraction arising due to the mutual sharing of electrons between the two atoms what is mutual sharing means equal sharing if one electron provide one atom provide one electron and the atom must be provide one electron it is a mutual sharing equal contribution the combining atoms may share one two or three pairs of electrons when the two atoms combine by mutual sharing of electrons then each of the atoms acquires a stable configuration of the nearest noble gas okay no examples of covalent bond water first example water is made up of one oxygen and two hydrogen oxygen having three, six electron the valence shell they require two more electron to complete its octet whereas hydrogen having one electron in the outermost or valence shell and it require one more electron to complete its duplet to stabilize themselves so one oxygen atom sharing one one electron with two hydrogen atom and form water molecule now hydrogen complete its valence shell by octet duplet and oxygen complete its valence shell by octet and the example that is ammonia ammonia having one nitrogen and three hydrogen nitrogen is from group 5a so it having five electron in the valence shell it required three more electron to complete is octet at the same time three hydrogen having one one electron in their valence shell they require one more electron to complete is duplet so nitrogen share one electron with three different hydrogen atom and complete is octet and at the same time each hydrogen share one electron with nitrogen and complete is to play so they become stabilized and form ammonia molecule now what is polar covalent bond actually there is some difference between the sharing of electron how electron pairs is in, in covalent bonds are not always shared equally why this affect the properties of compound remember recall your memory 
Did you remember electron negativity? We already studied in chapter number 3. Electron negativity. It, it is the property that is attraction of shared paired electron towards itself in a compound. Did you remember? Okay. So, the atom with the higher electronegativity attract the bonding electrons more. Electrons are pulled closer to this atom. Now, look at this diagram. Here is oxygen and two hydrogen. It is a water molecule. So, shared electron of hydrogen which more attracted by oxygen instead of hydrogen. Why? Because the, the structure of both the atom are dif having different size. Oxygen is larger than hydrogen. Valence shell of hydrogen is smaller instead of oxygen. So if shared per electron revolve one time in the outer motion of oxygen and one time at the outer mass of hydrogen. Hydrogen takes less time instead of oxygen. So hydrogen become partial positive and oxygen become partial negative. So electron are pulled towards oxygen, partial positive oxygen, hydrogen and partial negative oxygen. What will be happening? Non-polar covalent bond. When both atoms pull on the electrons equally, the electrons are shared equally. This happens when both atoms are the same. For example, H2, O2, N2, Cl2, F2, bromine, iodine. These are diatomic molecules. They are always non-polar because shared paired electron will be sh equally shared and all both the atom attracted equally equal density is the equal spread out got it equal density will be equally spread out so electron negativity of iodine is 2.5 both the iodine atom having 2.5 electron negativity, they cancel their power and this molecule become the neutral. And neutral molecule are considered as the non-polar because there is no attraction, no uh, more attraction of any one atom. Non-polar covalent bonding. Here is an example of hydrogen H2, H and H. Same charge. On both the nuclei, that is positive, electrons spend equal time near each nucleus. Okay? So, no charge will be observed. Polar covalent bonds. When identical atoms share electron like H2, F2, the electron pair is shared equally by both atoms and they have a non-polar covalent bond. When the two atoms are of different elements the electron may not be shared equally spending more time around one atom than the other forming a polar covalent bond for example SCL and H2O contain polar covalent bond okay so important thing is electron negativity electron negativity is the relative ability of a bonded atom to attract the shared electron as a covalent bond. The electron negativity value values increases as atomic size decreases. The element fluorine has the highest electron negativity of any element. So we can say covalent bond will be divided into two categories according to the sharing of electron, non-polar covalent bond and polar covalent bond. Non-polar covalent bond means equal sharing of electron. Both the atom must be the same. And polar covalent bond means unequal sharing of electron. For example, HF, SCL here. Why? No electron negativity difference in non-polar there is electron negativity difference observed in 
polar. Equal sharing of electron in the non-polar, where is unequal sharing of electron in a polar covalent bond. Got it? Now, covalent with diagram, covalent bond and ionic bond. Electron shared, physical sharing is observed. In ionic, transfer of electron observed. Electron negativity difference, electron, so non-polar, point less than 0.5 and polar 0.5 to 1.7 and above 1.7 it means they are ionic bond. Electron negativity chart. Okay, we are discussed here. Hydrogen electron negativity value is 2.1. Chlorine 3.0. Fluorine 4.0. Highest carbon 2.5 and sodium 0.9. Now H2. Electron negativity difference will be 0. CH bond between CH. C carbon having 2.5 and hydrogen having 2.1. 2.5 minus 2.1, 0.4. It is less than 1.7, so it will be the co polar covalent bond. 1.7 to 4, it will be pure ionic. And 0 0.3 to 1.7, it will be polar covalent bond. On 0 0.0 to 0 0.3, it will be the non-polar covalent bond. Here is the example. First diagram, non-polar. Second diagram, polar. And third diagram is a is an ionic bonding. Now, a brief description of polar and nonpolar. Nonpolar covalent compound are said to be nonpolar when the shared pair of electrons are at the at an equal distance from both the atoms involved in the bonding. For example, Cl2, CH4, there is no charge separation and the molecule is electrically, electrically neutral. The electron negativity difference between the atom is zero. Now, polar. Polar covalent compounds are said to be polar when the shared electron moves towards the atom with the greater mass. The atom towards which the electron pair shift gets a slightly negative. Okay, while the atom, other atom acquires a slightly positive charge. The polar covalent molecule has two centers of charge and this is known as dipole. Two poles are there, so it becomes the dipole. There is a great difference in the electron negativity value of the atom. It is the polar and two carbon dioxide and carbon tetrachloride and methane. And polar are SCL, water and ammonia. You observe slightly positive end and slightly negative end. That is the polarization will be takes place. Now, observe this diagram. It is a water molecule, right? Slightly negative. Electrons density will be more or more electronegative element slightly positive less electronegative element means electron density is less and dipole means both direction of electron flow towards the electronegative atom now what is the intramolecular or what is the intramolecular forces intra and intra intramolecular forces mean bonding forces within a molecules Intramolecular forces means non-bonding forces between molecules. Example, influence the chemical properties of the compound, influence the physical properties of the substance. It is within a molecule and intram is between the molecule. Example of intramolecular ionic bonding, covalent bonding and metallic bonding. And intramolecular forces are only on polar covalent compound that is in which dipole dipole forces and hydrogen bonds, etc. Intramolecular and intramolecular. Here is our observed diagram. And intramolecular and intramolecular bond is the chemical bond within a molecule. 
means one of oxygen or two hydrogen it is a complete bonding one molecule it all the attraction present within a molecule will be considered as the intramolecular bond and the attraction between two molecules one water molecule and other molecule also develop attraction slightly positive end of hydrogen will be attracted by slightly negative end of oxygen okay this property will be considered as the intramolecular forces so intramolecular forces is the force that occurs between molecules here is a diagram scl scl hydrogen slightly positive attracted by chlorine chloride slightly negative and and chlorine or hydrogen it is the intramolecular force strong force and attraction between two molecule will be intramolecule that is weak attraction or weak forces intramolecular forces you observe between the water molecule now intramolecular forces are the forces that hold molecules in a substance intramolecular forces are the forces that hold atoms in a molecule weak then intramolecule strong then intramolecule determine the state of matter solid liquid or gases and physical properties such as melting point and boiling point in intramolecular determine chemical behavior of a substance intramolecular forces are attractive forces intramolecular forces are chemical bonds categorized into dipole dipole forces london dispersion forces and hydrogen bonding forces categorized into covalent ionic and metal bond 